Did you know that you can emulate your favorite games like New Super Mario, Sonic, and many others on your iPhone? Well, this concept actually isn't new. In fact, this has been a thing since I can remember as a kid when I wanted to play Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkai G3 on my iPhone. Don't tell me you guys haven't tried that. It's all been a thing where you wanted to emulate every game that you ever had on your console, on your PlayStation 2, onto your iPhone, or whatever phone or console you had at the time. If you were using one at the time, it was one of those things that you tried to do that your parents told you was definitely illegal, especially when you were jailbreaking and jailbreaking was at its peak. But now that it's one of those legal things, I guess, it's kind of circulating in the community very, very fast at a rapid rate at that. A lot of new people are getting introduced to emulation. And I just wanted to make this video to kind of share with you guys some of my favorite games or the best games, in my opinion, to download when you were first introduced or getting started on your emulation journey. First of all, what is Delta? Delta is an app, an emulation app that lets you emulate games like Nintendo 64, Nintendo DS games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Colors, you name it. Any iconic handheld device, uh, at least in the Nintendo area right now, can be emulated through this app on the App Store. You can play right here on your phone, as you can see. And what they've allowed us to do is access these games through what is known as ROMs. Um, these are not entire game files. These are just small game files that emulate the game, not actually porting fully the game. Let's get into the games. First game on the list is Sonic Colors. This is the game that got me into Sonic as a whole. I know there's definitely other games. I'm going to mention them here, but Sonic Get Colors is my fan favorite, my personal favorite. It is fun, again, colorful, just bright, a bright version of Sonic that I feel like a lot of people didn't really see at the time. And it has a unique world aspect where you go to different worlds and different planets and stuff like that. In my opinion at the time, it just stuck out to me as a Sonic game. I had seen a lot of Sonic games, but this one really, really just stuck out to me. Next up on the list, we have Mario 3-on-3 Three -three Hoops. This is one of my fan favorites, again, because I used to play this with my siblings and little brothers and sisters all the time on Nintendo DS when you get to play, you know, play local play with each other. If, if the other one had one, it was so fun to do. And we'd play, I love basketball. So that was just one of the things I loved. And yeah, I'd whoop them. It would, it would be crazy. Um, Mario, um, outside of the new Super Mario Bros and, you know, the typical Mario games, it, it was different. And it was, um, I think it's exclude. I don't think it's exclusive to Nintendo DS. I don't think I've ever seen it in any other platform. So it's just a fun game that I really liked and enjoyed when Nintendo DS was actually active. Next up on the list, um, I didn't want to leave out any of these. We have Dragon Ball Super Sonic Warriors. This is a game on Game Boy Advance. It is also one of the games that I actually got into later in my gaming, you know, journey. Uh, I didn't get this like when I was a kid or anything. I kind of got it when I was like a teenager. But overall, the 3D aspect that they tried to incorporate with this game was definitely a cool, cool way. It just kind of showed how gaming back then, they still tried to immerse you into their world, into their game of whatever be was being developed. And these handheld devices and at the time it was just so futuristic to, for us to be playing these games you know on the go that it just seems really cool like again it just when you look at it now it's kind of like oh but it really was cool back in the day to kind of see this and be like oh wow this is kind of like 3d next up on the list we have dragon ball origins 2 this is my second ever dragon ball game that i've ever ever gotten on uh nintendo ds uh no, not Nintendo ds ever and it was a game that had frustrated me at first but once i continued to play it, it it was a great origin story and it actually led me to watching the dragon ball series as a whole and i enjoyed the journey that this took me on um this definitely was one of the games where it was like an rpg dragon ball type thing um like that's why i always say like kakarot was never the it, they kind of did it great with Kakarot, but it wasn't unheard of. Like the RPG aspect of Dragon Ball was always, always there. It just didn't really, I don't know. It didn't really like boom for me, uh, especially this one. It kind of did get boring over time. So there's that. Now we have an honorable mention here that I have on the list again. This is kind of like some fan favorites. This is Transformers Autobots. This is uh, one of those games where it was like, 
the movie era where Spider-Man and all those games were coming out and everybody wanted to make games that revolved around the movies or whatever. And you can also see like, you know, Optimus Prime. It looks like the first Transformers movie uh, poster and everything. So that one, it wasn't the best game to me, but it, it definitely was a favorite. And I really want somebody or some development team from Hasbro or whatever who was doing it to kind of take on the, the franchise and kind of revamp this game and make another game because I, I would love to see a great 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 uh transformers game on on the likes of things like insomniac spider-man 2 or things like that last up on the list though we are going to keep it very simple we got mario party ds this definitely was the game when you had nintendo ds to play when you when everybody i used to go home to my go home or i used to go to my friend's house and stuff like that it used to come to me sometimes and we all link up our ds and stuff and you can get a party of six to eight and we all just be playing and no phones this is back before really phones was like uh like i don't know i was like eight or something like that like i didn't really have a phone i didn't really get a phone until i was like a teenager so it was like we all were just playing the game together and mario party was some of the best memories that i've had on this so if you are looking to enjoy some of these games i definitely have a way 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 more games to talk about i'm going to be doing a, a further list maybe top 10 but this is like my top five games that i enjoyed and i wanted you guys to experience firsthand but as always leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new we're gonna get on some more gaming content peace